Welcome to the library where we read out loud. Shh. Hey y'all. <laughs> I was gonna, if you see me looking down from time to time, it's because I'm trying to remind myself of the cast members of this damn show for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood because the season finale, the part two of the reunion came on on Monday and you know we just finished watching it yesterday. So let's get right into the finale and what I think is gonna go down for the next season, what I know for a fact is going on for the next season. So what I do know for a fact is that Omariana April will not be returning next season. They didn't say why, but if you ask me, it's a good thing because I always said they need to part ways in like a, um, a good way, you know? Cause I don't think, I love Omariana April, I don't want them to be unemployed, but I love them enough to let them like not be on Love and Hip Hop because they're not, they're not tacky and ratchet and they're not loving hip hop. They like need their own little show, like a little cute show, like them raising their little two tiny sides of Christ, something like that. But they won't be back on the show. Um, we haven't heard anything else about the rest of the people and whether they're coming back or not. But what I do know is this, let's get right into everybody and what went down. So let's talk about Monice and Lil Fizz first. Monice had a mental breakdown on the reunion. She didn't want to talk for the rest of the damn whole part two because everybody was talking about her and getting her together about her mother and skills. And it, to be honest, I don't really care to see Monice back next season. No shade. Because I, I like her as a person. And I'm sure she's a very nice person in real life, but I just don't care to see her again. So that's just that. Um, Lil Fizz, same, same scenario. I don't care. Like, I wish I did, but I don't. Nikki Baby, however, who um, is dating Lil Fizz, I don't know if they're still together, but I would like to see Nikki Baby come back because I like her. I like her a lot. So, um, Nikki, you come back. Fizz, well, at least y'all go somewhere. Um, Tierra Marie. <clears throat> if you can bring me something, like, besides them blazers, then, yeah, come on back. But if the season jumps off with some new people, I'm not going to be like, oh, I can't deal with the show because Tierra Marie's on there. So, and she was born on a reunion too. So, um, yeah, that's that. Um, I just told y'all Mariana April aren't coming back. Hazel E doesn't have much to talk about, and she was born on a reunion too. The reunion wasn't as good as, like, normally Love & Hip Hop reunions are. The only thing, I'll get to what was good on a reunion, but um, Hazel, your storyline was Mazika and Young Bird. Since they are somewhere being Young Bird and Mazika, not doing much more than that, then you go be with them and do whatever they're doing, but don't come back. Um, Ray J can go, him and, Pr no. Ray J, you go. Princess, you stay. And I'll tell you why. That don't mean y'all have to break up, but that would be good for TV if y'all did break up. They're apparently engaged. They revealed that on the reunion. I don't, I don't like Ray J. And not many people do. I mean, we like Princess, she's okay, but we don't necessarily jump through hoops for her. You feel me? So, Princess, you can stay just because we don't necessarily not like you yet. But, Ray J, you could just go because we just don't like you at all. Um, let's talk Soldier Boy and Nia. Nia and that other little jump off girl, Nas. Nas, your hair was a mess. You probably got beat up. Well, no, you probably beat up um, Nia, Nia, whatever her name is, on a reunion. But, um, Nia, you come back. I mean, not Nia. Um, Nas, you come back to the show next season. Nia and Soldier Boy, both of y'all got to go. Soldier Boy just annoys me. BTW, let me just pull Soldier Boy's car real quick because Soldier Boy wants to gloat about being worth his net worth being worth twenty five million dollars on the show, and just for the sake of reads and things, I did Google it just as he advised, and he is indeed worth twenty five million dollars. Now here's the thing: your net worth being twenty five million dollars is totally different than what you have in your bank account. So, with that being said, young soldier boy, the money you took out of the bank to make sure that you was gonna float around on the stage is not the money you're worth, sir. Okay, so, net worth is basically all your assets added up into one thing. So he got $25 million worth of shit, but he ain't got $25 million in his bank account, if that makes sense. So, um, soldier boy, I don't like you, your little face tattoos, that's gone, lays it off. You, you, they can go with you, okay? And I, I just don't like your attitude, that whole, I do what I want, you can not like it or whatever, I'm going to be with him, even though he treat me like shit, I'm going to still be with him and you mind your business. I don't like that attitude. So, 
you go. Now, Milan, Miles, and Amber, I want all three of y'all back on the show, and I'll tell you why. Because that season, they made that episode, that reunion. Milan had the intentions to propose to Miles on the reunion. But apparently, now we found out that Miles was cheating on Milan sometime a couple of weeks before they filmed the reunion. But we didn't know that it was going to be captured on the reunion, the whole situation, like not the cheatation of it all, but the whole Milan responding to the cheating allegations. So when he told him, no, F that, we ain't doing nothing, put that ring on the ground and walked off, and then Miles got up and played soccer with the ring, I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. This getting good. And Amber was just sitting back like, what the fuck is really going on? And then his sister, Miles, I don't like your sister. Well, hell, Miles, I don't like you since you blocked me on Twitter and Instagram and everywhere else for what reason, I don't know. But that's neither here nor there. So I will give y'all another chance. All three of y'all come back. Even though y'all storyline might be whack because Miles is out of the closet now, so I don't know what y'all are going to talk about. But other than that, here's the thing. Out of 1 through 10, they stepped up from last year because last year wasn't that hype. But I'll give y'all a, at least an 8 for this season. So I'm looking forward to the next season of Love & Hip Hop um, Hollywood. And New York starts this Monday on December. If today is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. 14th. 8 o'clock. I don't know what time my clock. I probably won't watch because ain't nobody on there but Ray I want to see. On VH1 if you're interested. So <laughs> let me know what you guys thought about the Love & Hip Hop Hollywood reunion down in the Gotcha Gotcha Bar. And leave a comment and like. And um, let us know who you think should come back next season. Or who do you want to come on next season. That would be a good question. So let us know. I love you guys for watching.